This is an update to the Windows 7 share problem where if your files were hosted on a Windows 7 machine after uh, the update that was issued uh, during the second week in January, um, you could no longer access those shares on the Windows 7 machine. Well, there's been an update to it now. So what we need to do is we need to um, undo the fix. So if you saw my last video and you applied the, uh, the, the, the fix to the registry to get it working again, before you install the, uh, the, the update issued from Microsoft to fix this, you just need to undo what we did the other day. So if you didn't follow that video, then you don't need to do anything. Don't worry about it. And if you don't use shares, then don't worry. Microsoft will issue the patch in automatic updates at some point in the future. But to be honest with you, if you're not using shares on the machine, then um, you won't be affected and uh, you won't need to apply any fixes. So you can just disregard this video. But if you're having trouble getting onto a share or you use a scanner, a network scanner that tries to scan into a folder on your computer, and that's not working then uh, this may well help with that okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the machine that's a left click on there and in search programs and files type reg reg edit okay and then under programs reg edit with this little blue icon should appear left click that once it will say do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer make sure the program name is registry editor and the verified publisher is microsoft windows if it doesn't match up then click no if it does then left click yes okay then we need to click on h key local machine the little arrow just beside it there then we need to click on the little arrow next to software and then we scroll down and we need to click on the arrow next to Microsoft and then we scroll down and we need to click on the arrow next to Windows. OK, and then we need to click the arrow next to current version and then we scroll down to policies and left click the arrow next to policies and then we need to left click the arrow next to system. And then in actual fact, we can just left click on the word system. And what we're looking for in this right hand box here is local account token filter policy. OK, now this might be partially covered up. It might say something along the lines of local account token filter dot dot dot. But uh, what, what it says, it, if you want to double check it, just move your mouse over it and it will show you the whole word. So move your mouse over it. OK, and double left click once. OK, if the value data says one, then you need to change that to zero. So just type the number zero on your keyboard, then left click OK. Move your mouse up to the cross in the top right hand corner of this screen. Left click it and obviously close down anything you've got on the computer and save your work because now you're going to need to restart the computer. This is very, very important. Restart the computer. So left click the uh, start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, move your mouse over the arrow next to shut down and then left click restart. Wait for the computer to restart and then I'll show you where to download the official patch from Microsoft. My computer's now restarted, so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to ascertain whether you're running Windows 7 64-bit or 32-bit. So again, left click the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, OK. Move your mouse over computer and click the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Then move your mouse down to properties and click the left mouse button. OK, you will get this screen up here and what we're looking for is system type. So mine says 64-bit operating system. Yours might say 64-bit, it might say 32-bit. Whatever it is, make a note of it now because you're going to need this information in a little while. Close this down by left-clicking the cross in the top right-hand corner of the screen. And then we open up our browser. I should say at this point before proceeding any further, then please make sure that every program is closed down on your computer. You're not running anything because you're going to need to restart. Also, please ensure you take a backup now of anything really important to you just in case the worst should happen. So once our browser's loaded in the bar at the top of the screen, delete out whatever's in it. And we need to type catalog dot update dot microsoft.com then press enter or return on your keyboard okay now it might say the website wants to install the following add-on microsoft update catalog from microsoft.com if it comes up left click install 
and then if it says do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer click yes if you're using a browser other than um, Internet Explorer this lot might not come up okay so once we've got the search box here we then type KB4487345 and then move a mouse over search and left click once here we go here's a list of the updates on here so first of all um, we need to ascertain like I say whether our system's a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system so uh, if it's a 64-bit a, a system, we need this one here that says for x64 based systems. So, and that should say Windows 7 just there beside it. If yours is a 32-bit system, then you need this one here that says update for Windows 7 for x86 based systems. So uh, what we do is we just left click on the one that's appropriate to us. Left click, add to basket left click close, left click view basket and then left click download and it'll ask us here what folder do we want to download this to so we click browse click yes if this comes up okay and uh, click next to your name your username there and click downloads and then click OK then left click continue OK, that should now download. So once that's downloaded, we can left click close. And then we can move our mouse to the cross up here and left click once on that. Now, once again, left click on the start button, then left click on our name just up there. Then double click downloads and you're looking for a folder that starts 2019-01 update for Windows 7 and that should say either x64 or x86 x86 if you're running the 32-bit system and x64 if you're running a 64-bit system double click that and then double click this here this AMD x86 all windows blah 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 KB4487345 and it should say preparing the installation and then searching for updates on this computer and if you haven't got it already it says do you want to install the following windows up windows software update move your mouse over yes and left click once it then says initialize and installation now this might take a while and it might hang and look like it's not doing anything but please be patient with it just leave it to do its own thing it could take till 10 15 minutes it might only take a few minutes but just let it roll and uh, we'll come back to this video at the end of the installation And there we go, it says installation complete. You must restart your computer for the updates to take effect. So yeah, it's very important, restart the computer uh, because until you restart your computer, you again won't be able to access any shares. So move your mouse over, restart now, and left click once. Let the computer shut down and restart. It will do a few more bits of updating. There you go, preparing to configure window, configuring windows updates, 30% complete, do not turn your, your off your computer. So uh, again, this might take a little while, just leave it, let it run. And there we go, the computer's all restarted and uh, you should be able to access your shares again or if you scan to the computer you should be able to uh, resume scanning via the network to your computer. Okay, hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.